Today we're going to talk about 9 baking add-ons for Blender. These add-ons have different tools, features, and price ranges, which will allow you to choose what suits you best. Also, the add-ons are not arranged in any particular order. With that being said, let's get started. Simple Bake This is a very straightforward baking solution for Blender that is already used by professionals and gaming studios that use Blender. The add-on uses nodes to bake simple to complex PBR materials that can be used for different purposes. The nice thing about it is that it allows you to simplify the process by using a simple and clean interface that has buttons that make things easier. After you are done baking your PBR materials, you can export them to software such as Substance Painter. Some of the most important features it comes with include the ability of batch baking of multiple textures and it can do this separately or bake many into one just texture. It can also handle UVs in a smart way. You can use existing UVs, generate new UVs, and generate atlas maps. Either restore your original UV maps after the bake or leave the one used for baking applied. In addition to many other features as well. Simple Baking Add-on can do other stuff such as baking all the other traditional cycles bake modes along with other kinds of special maps such as ambient occlusion, curvature, thickness, vertex colors, and color ID. Bake Wrangler Bake Wrangler is a node-based baking solution for Blender. Some of the most important features of this add-on worth mentioning are It is node-based. You can create simple or complex baking setups depending on what you need. Being a node tree, they can be easily imported or reused in any project. So if you like node-based setups and workflows, this is the one for you. In addition to that, Bake Wrangler supports a full background batch baking. You can keep working in Blender while your maps are being generated. Also, you have the ability to pack images as you want, putting data in any channel including alpha. Furthermore, it bakes all the maps you need for Substance Painter. The node system works just like you would expect and it is surprisingly easy to get used to. Bake Tool Bake Tool is one of the most well-known baking tools for Blender. It has been maintained and updated for over 7 years now. It helps to streamline and simplify the process of baking materials. The tool is extremely powerful and allows you to bake multiple passes with one click, something you can't really do in Blender. Some of its most important features are, but not limited to, the ability to configure many passes you want, set in objects, devices, sizes and samples, and bake it all at once. Furthermore, choosing to whether the baking process is handled by the GPU or CPU for each pass. In addition to that, you can bake objects as individual textures per pass or join everything in a single atlas per pass. Also, there is a non-baking viewport report. You can keep using Blender while the tool is baking your textures. The add-on also allows you to bake standard PBR maps, including channels not available in Blender's bake system, such as Metallic or ID Map. The add-on is safe and easy to use because it doesn't mess up your materials, scenes, or objects. Just configure it as if for rendering and bake. Also, one of the most important features is that you can automatically create and unwrap non overlapped UVs for your objects and for your atlas. JBake JBake is a simple yet useful tool to bake your normal maps in Blender. It is clean, intuitive, and does what it is supposed to. It helps to simplify the high to low poly baking workflow within Blender. You just choose the low poly and the high poly mesh and choose your normal map resolution and hit bake. Also, the tool is completely free and the next update will include more baking options like curvature. Also, the developer of this add-on has a great YouTube channel that has great resources for learning Blender and they have a lot of tutorials that range from modeling, texturing, rigging, animation and everything in between. You can check them out to learn more. Principled Baker Principled Baker is a really powerful tool that allows you to bake all your PBR maps in one click. It comes with so many parameters that you can choose from. You can create a different profile to automate the baking process. Some of the most important features include Auto detection of what needs to be baked based on inputs. It allows you to bake all the principled BSDF and more inputs such as color, metallic, roughness, normal, heights and so on to image textures. In addition to that, it has three bake modes combined to bake a single selected object or bake multiple selected objects with shared UV maps. Single batch, this will allow you to bake every selected object separately. And third, the selected to active bake. Some of the other features include the ability to automatically create a new material with image texture nodes. Also, you have the auto UV unwrap option to create smart UVs and project and light map packing. The add-on will make your baking workflow way easier on top of that, the add-on is completely free. 
back to vertex color. As we all know, vertex color is different from normal texturing in which the color information is stored directly into your mesh data. You don't need a UV map because the information is attached to your mesh itself. However, if you want to export your color data, you're going to need to unwrap your mesh and create an image to bake and set up everything to use the default baking blender, which is slow and cumbersome. That's where vertex color paint comes in. The add-on enables you to bake passes like diffuse, emission, ambient occlusion, etc. to vertex colors. It will automatically unwrap your model and let you choose the resolution, sample count, smooth vertex colors, and assign a name to your vertex color. This type of workflow can be really useful when working with game assets. By combining this add-on with custom shaders and cycles, there are countless possibilities for the type of output you want. Udim Baker Udim Baker is an extremely important tool to have as a VFX artist and a game developer using Blender. It allows you to bake all of your Udim tiles in one click without going through the headache of baking them one by one or manually. What Udim Baker helps you to do is automate the process by doing the heavy repetitive labor for you. On the other hand, if you try to do this manually for each UDIM tile, you will have to move the UV tiles every time you bake, or create separate UV maps for each UDIM tile. This process is extremely repetitive and the add-on will allow you to bypass all of that and bake all your maps straightforward into your UDIM tiles and you can do this with one click and save them automatically. Bake Lab This is yet another baking add-on for Blender. We already talked about many baking tools so far because it is about convenience and the question is how to get there as fast as possible with the least effort possible. And that's what all these tools and add-ons are all about. To streamline the workflow, accelerating and automating the process and giving you more customization. So Bake Lab 2 offers a simple and friendly interface and all the features that you could expect from a paid add-on. Features such as the ability to automatically create images, set up materials, bake objects, and save and pack images in one click. It has an anti-aliased baking and the ability to automatically generate materials. Also, you have the ability of baking cycles displacement to real geometry and the ability to bake any PBR attributes of your materials by its name, such as metallic, roughness, specular, etc. The add-on also has adaptive image size by object surface size. And last but not least, you can unwrap and bake multiple objects into one image. EAC This is a Blender add-on for texturing by projection mapping for multiple images to one UV. EAC is an acronym for a simple yet already powerful tool. It allows you to project images and decals from your camera or 3D view to your meshes. This is very useful to add more details to your model, like bullet holes, cracks, logos, etc. And if you are familiar with decal systems in video game production workflow, this should be right down your alley. Some of its main features include the ability to project images on existing UVs, using image references as decals, supporting alpha channel, projection on multiple objects at once, and the ability of projection from multiple cameras. There is also optional shadowing and supporting constant updates that make the add-on even better. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.